Are you running your pool pump enough? Or maybe you're running it too much and wasting energy. Hi, I'm Matt from Swim yeah. University and getting your pump runtime wrong can lead to algae and cloudy water, especially during the hot summer months. The timing also depends on whether you have a single speed pump, a variable speed pump, or a salt system. So let's figure out how long to run your system based on your pump and your pool size. First, we need to figure out your turnover rate. Your goal is to filter all of the water in your pool at least once a day. This is called your turnover rate. And usually the turnover rate is around eight hours, but that's assuming that you have the right size pump for your pool. So it's worth calculating. First, you wanna find your pump's flow rate. Look for the GPM or gallons per minute rating on your pump. This should be printed on the label somewhere on the pump housing. Now, this number won't be 100% accurate since your flow is affected by the size of your pipes, your filter, and a few other things. But if you want a more precise number, use a flow meter. But the pump's GPM is fine for estimating. Then you wanna calculate your turnover time. Take the total gallons of water your pool holds and divide that by your pump's GPM. So let's say that you have a 20,000 gallon pool and you have a pump that flows at 40 GPM. That's 20,000 divided by 40, which equals 500 minutes. You can divide that 500 minutes by 60 to get hours and you'll get 8.3 hours. So it takes a little over eight hours to turn over all of the water in your pool. But that's just the minimum you wanna run your pump. You wanna run it more than that if you're noticing cloudy water or chemical issues. And during the hot summer months, you'll actually wanna turn over your water twice instead of just once. That means running it for 16 hours instead of eight hours in this example. Hot stagnant water is a breeding ground for algae and extra swimmers means more contaminants. The intense sun can also break down chlorine quickly. By the way, if you need more help understanding your pool circulation and how all the water flows, the Pool Care Handbook is full of helpful pool anatomy diagrams. Every piece of equipment and plumbing is mapped out, so you have an easy to use reference guide for your whole pool system. And you can get your copy at swimu.com book or by using the links below. All right, so what if you have a single speed pump? Well, here's a simple rule for single speed pumps during the swim season. You can run your pump for at least one hour for every 10 degrees Fahrenheit of air temperature. So let's say it's 90 degrees outside. You can run your pump for at least nine hours. And if it hits 100 degrees, you'll wanna run it for 10 hours minimum. This ensures you're turning over the water more than once during the hottest days and when algae growth is more likely. Now, regardless of the temperature, you still want at least eight hours of runtime per day. Now, what if you have a variable speed pump? Well, variable speed pumps are much more efficient and should actually run longer, but at lower speeds to save energy. Now, most pool owners run their variable speed pumps for at least 12 hours per day. That's three to four hours on high speed to help chemical circulation and skimming debris, and about eight to nine hours on low speed for basic filtration. The best part about variable speed pumps, the lower speeds use little electricity and are more efficient to keep them running 24 seven rather than cycling on and off. If you can, run them on low continuously with a few hours at a high speed. But one important note, if you have a salt water generator or a heater, you wanna make sure that your pump is running fast enough to trigger their flow sensors. These systems won't operate properly at very low speeds. If you have problematic water, you need to increase your runtime. Here are signs that you're not running your pump enough. One, cloudy water that doesn't clear up. Number two, weak flow from some of your return jets. Number three, algae starting to appear. Number four, chemical levels that won't stay balanced. And number five, debris that's not getting filtered out. If you're seeing any of these issues, try increasing your runtime by two to four hours and see if that helps. So when should you run your pump? Timing matters just as much as duration. Some pool owners prefer running their pumps during the daylight hours when the sun is most likely to burn off chlorine and algae growth is at its highest. Others avoid running their pump at peak electricity hours in the evening, and some find it worth keeping their variable speed pumps running 24 seven. Whichever you choose, just make sure that your water doesn't stay completely stagnant for too long, especially in the heat of the day. While running your pump only at night might save you some money, it's risky if the water sits still during the hottest part of the day. Finally, remember that your pump's runtime isn't the only thing that matters for good circulation. You wanna clean or backwash your filter regularly. A dirty filter means poor filtration, no matter how long you run your pump. You wanna check your skimmer and pump baskets. Empty these each week if they're full of debris. You wanna run on high speed when you're adding chemicals. This makes sure that things are properly being mixed and dispersed and consider upgrading to a variable speed pump because they're more efficient and give you better control. Finally, if you need more help with pumps and water circulation, check out our other videos or the pool care handbook at swimu.com book or by using any of the links below. 
Thanks again and happy swimming.